Let's briefly review the geologic history of Texas. And we'll start in the Cretaceous period. The Cretaceous period was a time, as we remember from previous trips, of relatively high sea level. There were high levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. There's very little to no ice on the planet. Warmer oceans resulted, all those factors resulted in a higher sea level. So all the green area that we see here is the Edwards Plateau. And then remember it's bounded to the south and east by the Balcones Fault Zone, wrapping from West Texas and making the turn and going north up through the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. That's the Balcones Fault Zone. So that, that whole green expanse is the Edwards Plateau. These are limestones that formed in the ocean during the Cretaceous period. Most of the ones we'll be looking at today, the cave is formed in those limestones that we'll be looking at today, formed about 100 million to 110 million years before present. Okay, so that was the Cretaceous time period. Then there was a major regression over the last 65 million years that produced all the yellows and oranges. Remember, those are the younger formations uh, that were mixed marine, terrestrial deposits, streams, flood deposits, deltas, shallow marine sediments, all flooding. And remember, bringing this siliciclastic material from places like the Rocky Mountains uh, across the western and southern U.S. and dumping that material into the Gulf of Mexico sedimentary basin. All of that sedimentation was causing rapid subsidence of the Gulf of Mexico sedimentary basin. I remember it was that differential subsidence where the Gulf of Mexico was going down rapidly and the stuff up here on the shelf, right, if my hand is the center of the Gulf of Mexico, that rapid subsidence, the stuff up on the shelf was deforming in a more brittle fashion and something had to give and as that as that stress, stress built up, built up, and finally there was a, a slip or a strain. And what would that have sounded like back 17 million years ago in the Miocene period? Take two. This is your big chance. You're on camera. Here's the fault about to go, and it's going. Awesome. So the reason we worry about that fault system, as you can see in the Barton Springs uh, segment of the Edwards Aquifer, how critical faults there are to producing conduit flow. And there's pathways of very high permeability. Remember we contrasted conduit with diffuse flow. We could do that again here. We'll do that in the cave. You could see that that pattern of uh, faults is suggesting that the edge of the plateau might be a part of the aquifer system that has high permeability in it. And so what we want to do now with that context of where we are geologically is now figure out specifically where we are geographically and see how what geologic features may be most important. So go ahead now and find where we are on your map. And if you want, you could start in Austin and knew, know that you drove northeast for about 30 miles to Georgetown. So can you all find Georgetown on the map? If we were to take a core through right where we're sitting and start drilling, we'd get, we'd get this Anthropocene layer here of the soil and pavement. Then we'd hit soil, natural soil below that. Then we'd hit limestone with our core. We'd pull up that first bit of limestone. And what formation or group would that limestone be from? Edwards, yeah, so actually the strata that the cave is excavated from are rocks of the Edwards. All right, it's called, Ed, some people call it the Edwards Formation, some people call it the Edwards Group. These are the rocks that make up the Edwards Aquifer. So we are truly getting a glimpse, a bird's eye view into an aquifer here. Okay, so what do you notice about those about those black lines. We've already talked about what it is, right? Those are faults of the Balcones Fault Zone. Are there any in the Georgetown area? There is. Okay, yeah, see, uh, I see a number of them. Okay, what's their orientation? Okay, north, northeast, that's a, what do you guys think? Yeah. Orientation South. of the faults around George, north, northeast? What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, everyone's on board with all that? Okay, how can we put a, more precise number on that. You could use a protractor or you could use a compass. Anybody have a compass on them? Okay, then once you have your map oriented in the north direction, then you could 
take your compass, the straight edge of your compass, and put it on one of those faults and see what it reads. Is it? 29. 29. North 29 East. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's one reading. Let's write that down. Did you get a, guys get a reading? Yes, we did. What was your reading? 17. North 17 East? North 17 degrees yeah. East. Maybe you're on a different fault. There's multiple faults in the region. Write that information down and we will revisit in the cave.